It's going to be you, Spirit, and the angel, your guardian angel, working together. But the three of cups on the side, Spirit and the angel are saying, it, does Aries want to do this? Do your light work, but also their light work as well. So if you're meant to do Reiki, and your specific person was meant to do yoga, but they did not step up to this journey, you're going to have to do the Reiki and the yoga. See, this read is not going to resonate for a lot of you because, as the saying goes, many are called, but few are chosen. And don't take it personally, but that's just what it is. This light, being a light worker and following that path, it's not for everybody. Hello Aries, how are you? Welcome back to the channel. Starcy Zayed here. If you're new, make sure to subscribe and join the Soul Tribe. We have a read for you guys, okay? This is the good stuff headed towards you. It is a general read, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't behind. Cross watchers, you are welcome. This message is also timeless. Personal reads are in the Tree link in the description box below. I want to thank everyone for all the support. And with all that out of the way, we're going to get started. Thank you so much, angels, ancestors, spirit guides, universe, galactic beings, ancient ancestors, elders, guidance in this read for my Aries. What messages do you have for us? Truly grateful for your divine guidance and celestial light. I'm hearing the name Tanya, and I also heard the name Christopher. I also heard the name Theo or Theodore. Oh, okay. You have Mars here. That's Aries energy. That's the Tower, the Fool, and the Emperor. This is Mars uh, indirect. Then you have Sagittarius. And the way the arrow is pointing up, it almost looks like a rocket ship getting ready to take off. That's the Wheel of Fortune and the Temperance card. This is Jupiter in transit. Then you have number seven. That's the Chariot card. Wow, Aries. Chariot card and the moon, Cancer energy. Wow. Uh, you could also be a life path number seven. Um... And you could have been born on April 7th or the 17th of April. It's something here. Some of you could be an Aries Taurus cusp as well. It's something here. I'm hearing something about a mom cooking in a bakery or a mom at home baking like food. Like, like I'm trying to see what's being baked. It looks like bread. It looks like bread. It looks like I'm seeing garlic bread, but I'm also, I'm also seeing raisin bread, like raisin cinnamon bread. And I'm also seeing a pan, right, of lasagna being cooked in the oven. So I don't know what that is. But yeah, that, that could be for somebody. Okay. Let's get an oracle. Let's see. An oracle message at the bottom. You have elementals. So you connect very deeply to nature. Okay. Mm, and third eye awakening. So you connect very deeply to nature. But what this tells me is that a lot of the nature spirits and ancestors. Okay. A lot of the fairies, elves. Okay. These type of beings. They're around you right now, Aries. They're very close to you. Okay. And something here about Celtic and Norse mythology, okay? Hmm. Wow. Master number 44, Divine Guidance. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. 43, Earth Angel, Aries. Wow. And number 24, Divine Feminine. Aries. Spirit is working like the, the good stuff. This is a spiritual read. This is the most spiritual read I probably have ever seen on this channel. The good stuff is the magic that you're about to have at your fingertips. You're about to be some sort of wish or wizard. Yes, you are. You're going to be able to do these wonders, these signs. Okay, it's a lot of energy work here. Okay, you're an earth angel. And divine guidance is telling me, you see those two spirals, right? This purple spiral, this green spiral. And they're both intertwining themselves into the center of this glorious light. That's spirit. Okay, that's the creator, the most high. 
And what this is, is the angel and spirit are working with you side by side to achieve this beautiful goal, this beautiful timeline reality. And it's because you are chosen, but it's also because you are in this divine feminine energy. So what do we have in the tarot? We have the Seven of Pentacles. We have the Seven of Pentacles. Let's move this. Okay, there we go. Seven of Pentacles and the King of Swords. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. And the Six of Swords. Interesting. There's going to be a switch here. A Ten of Pentacles on a side. So it's going to come up to you guys. Yeah, Six of Pentacles. There's going to be a leap of faith that you will have to take in the future. Okay. Yeah, the Hangman. This is what you've been manifesting. The Hangman and the Three of Pentacles. This is you, Spirit, and the Angel. Okay, a Guardian Angel here working with you. And you will be paid for your services. The thing is, Aries, do you want it? You're being called. You're basically being called to be a light worker. Full time. Okay. It's... You know, it, it's not easy. It's not something that's easy initially because, right, you're leaving your security, stability, right? You could have been somewhere for years, but the Eight of Pentacles in reverse and the Six of Swords is showing that in the future, you guys are going to pursue this light work, working alongside this angel and this spirit, and spirit, excuse me. And these spirits, right? Because spirit is these spirits, right? The great spirit, the holy spirit. Queen of Swords and the Temperance. Mm. Nine of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. You're looking at it from a. You're going to look at it from a logical, but also an intuitive. Uh, perspective this is a very feminine energy it's very feminine okay a lot of you are submitting fully to spirit and you are listening to what they are telling you to do even though there is uncertainty even though you're worried about like uh, you could be worried about bills and uh, things being paid off yeah, the two of wands, you see you're you're gonna have to make this decision and you see that eight of cups wants to pop the wants to pop out it's almost like the light, you know, yeah, I'm hearing it's time to move forward. Oh, I got the chills. I got the chills. It's like, it's something here about moving forward into the future, into the unknown. But it, it's like a risk. It, it's, it's like, it's, it's something like, it's not going to be unstable because like, the Six of Pentacles is there. Spirit will pay you for your services and what you're doing. Yeah, I'm hearing Reiki. I'm hearing hypnotherapy, quantum healing, um, yoga, tai chi, massage, tarot reader, oracle reader, palm reader, master occultist, Okay, a master wizard or a master wish showing people how to manifest, how to make glitches in the matrix to bring in what they want. Guided meditation, sound healing, like this Reiki healing, crystal healing. This is what I'm hearing. Artists for uh, tarot, like you're going to make your own tarot decks or you're going to make your own oracle decks. Artists for music, making your own music. It's something here about like shamanic uh, music, Native American tribal music, tapping into your Native ancestry. Like these are the things that I'm picking up on. Your indigenous ancestors. But I'm also picking up fairy magic, elven magic. Mm. This read, 
You see, this read is not going to resonate for a lot of you because, as the saying goes, many are called but few are chosen. And don't take it personally, but that's just what it is. This light, being a light worker and following that path, it's not for everybody. It's not. You know, this really is for the mentally strongest. It is. You know, I I can't make it up. Buddha talked about it. Jesus talked about it. Muhammad talked about it. They all spoke. This this journey is not for the faint. This is not for the weak. You know, maybe next lifetime, some of you will step up, because I see here it's two of wands. There's two paths that you can take, and some of you are going to take this path, and you're going to move forward in this journey, and you're going to trust spirit, and then others of you, you're sort of going to kind of stay where you're at and become stagnant and not really, not really head out the you know head out the door. King of Wands is there. What is this King of Wands? That's you, Aries. Yep, and the six, and the six of Wands. The King of Wands uses his creative force, his creative life force energy. This is you, Aries. King of Wands is fire. So that's that masculine side of you. And you see the six of Wands. You see how the spotlight is shining on her, and all those hands are reaching up to her. This is what I'm saying. Like spirit is gonna guide you, but it's up to you guys to move forward in that direction. Knight of Wands. It's up to y'all to move forward. In that direction and you see the moon on a side some of you are going to listen to your intuition and you're going to follow through even though it feels very scary even though it's the moon it feels like it's the unknown you know you it, it's like a sudden darkness look what's at the bottom eight of pentacles i'm telling you they're going to put you on this path to light work a lot of you or they're going to want you to pursue that path full time yep three of pentacles spirit the guardian angel and yourself Working together, three of wands, the three of you working together, okay? The holy trinity, okay? A trine of energy, that's what this is, okay? You are being put as a placeholder. <clears throat> so if we look at the holy trinity, right? God, God the Father, uh, Christ the Son, and the Holy Spirit the Spirit. Right, but it could be Christ consciousness that you are representing Christ, the Spirit, the Creator, and the Earth Angel representing the Spirit, a Holy Trinity. Three of Cups on the side. I'm telling you, three. It's going to be you, Spirit, and the Angel, your Guardian Angel, working together. But the Three of Cups on the side, Spirit and the Angel are saying, "It does Aries want to do this?" Will Aries do it? Will Aries step up to this? Because, like I said, many are called, but few are chosen. It is what it is. Yeah, Queen of Swords in reverse. You see, some of you are going to say no to it. Others, you're going to say yes. Because that Queen of Swords at the bottom is upright. Yeah, the Death card. And the Sun. I'm telling you. This, this requires the biggest spiritual transformation. It does. This is not, you know, this is not a typical read. This is a very spiritual read. This isn't going to be for everybody. But also, not everybody is going to want to resonate with this message because not everybody wants to go and, you know, pursue what, what spirit might be telling them to do. Now, it could also be, right, if you're like wanting to be a cosmetologist it could be using natural hair product right natural products staying away from the chemicals right the same with medical field you could be a holistic nurse or you could end up being a holistic doctor okay somebody that works with the herbs and plants to heal so do bear that in mind hmm Yeah, Jack and Diane, broken heart. You you have a broken heart here. Somebody, oh, Aries, yeah, Olive Branch. You're not supposed to be single right now. Somebody was supposed to be with you on this journey, but they're not. They're not with you on this journey, and they had their own mission. And Aries, Aries it sounds a little unfair, but 
they had their own light work that they were going to do, but they are now stepping up. So Spirit is going to have you do your light work, but also their light work as well. So if you're meant to do Reiki and your specific person was meant to do yoga, but they did not step up to this journey, you're going to have to do the Reiki and the yoga. You're going to have to do both. It's something here like the show must go on. But you see, look at this. Spirit wants you to surrender. They believe that you can do this. And honestly, it may sound unfair, but isn't that badass? Like, let's just be honest. Like, you're doing the work that your soul contract said and the work that somebody else's soul, soul contract said. Like, you're doing the work that your counterpart was supposed to do as well. Like, their career. So you're doing both. That's a boss, okay? That's a badass. Like, that's how I see it. Like, holy crap, that's how strong and powerful you are as a person. Like, you're unstoppable. If spirit can see it that way, that you can do both, you are very high level spiritually. If spirit is trusting you to do also their part of their mission, that's how powerful you are, then spirit holds you in high regard. You are very powerful. So yeah, it might seem a little unfair, but you know what? We are here, those of us that know the mission, we know why we are here. And a little extra work isn't going to bother us or unfaze us because we know the end goal is truly something remarkable for all of us, for all of humanity. Hmm. Yep, library. There you, there you go, microphone. Working with a teacher. Studying. You could be getting certified. Yep, you're going to make friends. You see, you're going to make friends here. Spirit's going to bless you with a new car as well and a new home. Mm. It's all going to work out in your favor. Yep, the hammock is there. It's something here like be at peace. Yeah. Crystal ball. I feel like your intuition has been telling you like this is where this has been headed for a long time. Yeah, water carrier, you see. Age of Aquarius. So the question is, Aries, do you step up to do this? But that is your read. That's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this. I wish you the best of luck and I wish you love and light. Take care.